All right, guys, I'm meeting up with another YouTuber in a little while, do some night fishing, but just stop down at, down here at this bridge. I'm going to throw this Yozuri along the seawall, see if we can get any action. Get them right on this corner over here. Yeah, they like hanging out on these corners, you know that. Hey guys, I told you I was going to be fishing with a YouTuber from the area. Is this Chris? What's up? Fixing to fail. If you're not subscribed to his channel, make sure you go subscribe. I promise you, you'd be glad you did. He's a he's a fish, big fish chaser, man. That's all I want, man. I want yeah. those trophies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot of fun to watch. He does a great job. So we're gonna see if we can get on some snook tonight or whatever is the plan. That's the goal. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Make me a cast on the seawall here. Got a Yozuri on. Fish on. Ho oh, ho. Oh. Get up here, dude. <laughs> Got a little one. Snook. Yeah, a little snook, man. nice all right that's the way to start this is the first cast down here at this bridge heck yeah got him on that yozuri dude no they cannot resist it thanks buddy see ya <laughs> chris is over there trying to cast net bait i'm gonna be over here catching the snook Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Dude, two casts, two fish. It's a big one, dude. Oh, it's a good fish. He hit it by that dock over there. What are you throwing at him, Colin? That uh, Yozuri. That's a slot, buddy. Dude, that That's might be my slot fit. fish right there. That's your take That's fit. him, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, dude. So Heck yeah. Oh, it might be a little over slot, man, but I think it might be right on He's the He's going to be close. Let me get my, I'll grab my tape measure, man. He might be right on the money. Heck yeah. Are you kidding? Two casts? Two casts. Two fish, man. <laughs> All right. Dude, he's he's gonna be slot, I bet. <laughs> oh my god. I'm telling you. I gotta hang out with a guy that knows where the big ones are at. That's a meaty one, man. Oh, Look all day you, long. Perfect, man. Woo -hoo! Yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah. <laughs> Got it done, man. That was quick. Nice. Woo. 29 inch. Heck yeah. Woo. Man, oh man, oh man. Woo. He got, he hit the Yozuri, guys. Nice. That is beautiful. That, there's no question about that slot. That's it. It's right on the edge of the It's right there, huh? All right, I got to tie me something on. That's awesome, dude. That makes it all worth it right there. I brought a cooler too. Good call, man. Yeah, I got I got some block ice in there, so give it up again. Woohoo! Awesome. I love it. I love it. Thanks for landing you, man. Yeah, buddy. Nice. I brought me a cooler with some ice. I'm gonna run this guy back to the car. Heck yeah. Man, I love it. Four years since I've had snook to eat, guys. We're definitely gonna be doing a catch and cook. Baby, 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 let's go to the car. I fished hard last week trying to get a slot snook. Second cast. See if we can find an old one around here. Oh my gosh. He slammed that Yozuri. Oh, oh, oh. I thought he was a lot bigger than that.
like that. Yeah, scaring the all the fish, you know. We scared all the fish. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's my video. Catch, clean, and cook right there. Yeah, you got it, dude. You're set. That's it. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's amazing, like, when you get a slot fish, the difference. Yeah. And how they fight. Absolutely. I mean, it's like, when you hook them, you're like, that's a, that's a good one. That one's not giving up. You know? <laughs> I can't just whip this guy in. Yeah. Oh, dude, see if we got another one over there, guys. Fish on. Whoa. Fish on. Get another little guy. Little little dinker, yeah man. Oh yeah. Dude, that's little little shrimpy snook there. <laughs> Nice. Number three. Haven't even been fishing 15 minutes. I love it, man. Matt, oh, dude, hog. that is a giant. Excuse my language. Oh, my gosh. I just, I've only got pretty on that. Dude, what a fish. Oh, careful, man. Careful. Careful. 30 pound. You, you fish some light, bro. This is what this man's known for right here. He's he's living his best <laughs> life right now. <laughs> Swimming good, man. Heck yeah, buddy. Woo. <laughs> All right, guys. You're going to have to go to Chris's channel. He just whacked a monster. You're going to have to go over there and check it out. Definitely. Oh my god. He's got another big one, guys. He's hooked up with another big one. Get out of there. Dude, he's hooked up with another giant. Guys, I am having an absolute blast out here tonight. Chris left. It's his birthday, so yeah, he, he got a couple of nice fish and he cut out of here. But I'm I'm sticking out, man. Heck yeah, they're still biting. Let's see if we can get another one. Dude, this wind is blowing like freaking crazy out here wow all right we might get one on this cast just buzzing that yozuri right along the shadow oh, line there he is there he is snuck on snuck on hit the yozuri hit the yozuri nice oh and he got off see ya show you guys how to fillet some snook right so first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna make a cut right across here all the way up in this head area there's plenty of meat up in here i'm gonna fillet this guy i'm just gonna turn my knife i'm gonna run it right along the backbone once i get it started I like to just lift my finger up like that. Just start running my knife just tight to that that skeleton. Just lift lifting my thumb up, working that meat away from the bones. Oh man, these are gonna be some big old nice thick fillets. Heck yeah. It's pretty hard to film and clean fish with a camera right in front of you, but we're gonna give it a try here. All right, so now you can see a little better what I'm doing here. 
Yeah, since I haven't had snook in four years, I'm going to be so very careful not to waste anything on this fish at all. Nothing at all. So I get right here around the anal fin. I'm just going to push my knife straight through like that. And I'm just going to ang angle my knife downward, keep it right on the skeleton, and just fillet the rest of that off right there. Spin this guy around. Come over here. That. Okay, if you, if you haven't seen my fish cleaning videos before, I just like to take the skin, pinch it up, Get underneath it like that. Hold the meat up away from the ribs. And then you're going to find a soft spot in the ribs. You can push your knife through. And I just went through like butter, man. I found this, that soft spot pretty quick there. I'm not going to waste anything on this snook. Since I haven't had snook for four years, but... I generally don't waste anything on these snook anyway. So the thing about snook is that you don't want to cook them with the skin on. I was told by a good friend of mine that years ago they used to call snook soap fish. And it's because their skin tastes like soap when you cook them with the skin on. So don't cook them with the skin on and fry snook guys. All right, so now I'm just going to take the meat off of the skin. I'm going to get that started. I got something good to hold on to here. I'm just going to run that knife right down along the skin. And what I can do is I can, I can take my hand. See how the knife is angled downward just a little bit? And also I want you to notice something. It's easier when you have the handle of the knife away from the fillet table if it's on the fillet table it makes it hard to get the knife flat down on the skin of the fish so get the handle out past the fillet table grab a hold of that skin keep your knife a little bit of an angle downward and then you can work that skin back and forth as you're pushing the knife through the fillet and I cut through the skin a little bit got way down there All right, yeah, left a little skin on there. Oh, oh, oh. nice. Dude, I am, I am so excited. I am so excited about being able to eat snook. Around where the ribs are at, I'm gonna cut the ribs out, but I'm not gonna throw them away. I am not throwing that rib meat away. I'm gonna bake that rib meat. You bake it and you can pick the, the meat right off of the bones. Dude, there's no way I'm throwing away that big chunk of snook. Nope, it ain't happening. Now on most fish you're going to have, right in this area right here, you're going to have what's called the Y bones. They're going to be running in here. You see this line right here. You've also got bones back in here. So I'm just going to take and just make a V cut right here generally his bones will run all back in there so you're gonna come right up here and make sure i get out these these y bones that are generally in there i want to feel that okay we got them and the birds are happy all right guys this is just my opinion but the best way to cook snook is fried and i'm going to show you how to prepare this fillet for cooking this the best way but the rib meat i'm going to bake the rib meat the throat i'm going to take out the throat i am not wasting this snook meat at all i keep saying that i'm going to bake the throat meat i'm also going to take the cheek meat out as well yeah so but yeah fried guys so let me show you the way i prepare my snook uh, fried you, do, you don't want to just take huge hunks of this and fry it all right I'm t it'll be good but it won't be as good as what i'm getting ready to show you we want smaller pieces guys like that that's a, a nice nice thin small piece we get up here in the thicker area of these fillets 
we want to make grouper fing we want to make <laughs> grouper fingers we want to make fingers we want to cut them like that all right we're, we're making fingers that's like three quarter by three quarter inch i'm going to just go ahead and shave that that bloodline off of there get that out of there oh that'll make that meat taste so good but that's what we want small all small small fingery pieces all right guys temperatures dropping in the 50s last night it is beautiful out here i'm at my apartment complex but 5 p.m we're gonna cook this snook up outside i got my little propane cooker we're gonna fry this up now i have an awesome batter recipe you guys i have made snook like this for years it's been four years since i had snook i cannot wait to sink my teeth into this fried snook and uh so listen this is gonna be good you guys um you're gonna want to try your snook with this special batter recipe i promise you it it is the bomb diggity so all right let's get on with it i brought all kinds of goodies downstairs here i'm just gonna fix a salad with the snook since uh i'm going fattening the way that i'm cooking the snook i'm gonna go low fat with the side dish so All right, we got all-purpose flour. We got some cornmeal flour. We got some Bizquick right here. This is the secret ingredient, you guys. We've got Cabernet's Greek seasoning and Lowry seasoned salt. If you've been on the channel for a while, I cook with these often because they are absolutely delicious. My favorite seasonings all of my life, you guys. So, all right, let me show you how we mix this up. Okay, we're gonna go half and half. Bizquick, half flour. Now I'm mixing up a lot of this because I'm just going to keep it in this container for fish fry. I don't normally put the cornmeal in this mixture, but it's just something new. Just to maybe give it a little extra crunch, I'm just going to kind of top it off just a little bit. I mean, that's not even a third or a, a quarter of what I put in there, the other stuff. So maybe just to give it a little bit more crunchy, crunchy. So we're going to mix this up real good. We got all that mixed up now we're just going to add lowry's and cavenders and i'm adding a generous amount of both of these because that's a lot of flour mixture it's going to last probably about 10 different dinners that i cook so get this seasoned up real good and we're just going to mix all this in i got it all mixed up the next thing that i do is i'm just going to taste it right Mm. that'll work it's perfect it's not too overpowered with salt my little single burner coleman stove this thing is absolutely awesome so i'm going to do this out here on the ground so we don't get oil on the picnic table I'll tell you what i love about this sound listen it makes me feel like i'm camping Ooh, and you know what the weather's cold it's time to do some camping i brought my oil down from the, the house also got my thermometer i'm gonna put that on there like that we want our uh, thermometer to get to 350 degrees yeah i think that's the ideal temperature for fish so let's we'll see how we do here hopefully the wind doesn't blow and cool things down delicious looking snook guys so we just got just straight up egg is all put them in the egg just gonna take and roll them around in the batter i don't even drift the egg off of it because it it helps it have a, a thicker coating oh yeah that's what we're after right there and my my grease is getting really hot i need to pull it off for a second it's up to like 400 degrees right now. I know it's going to cool down when we put the fillets in there, but it's really, really starting to get up there too much. I believe we are ready. Let's go ahead and give them a drop. Look at that.
temperature is holding steady at 350 and these are looking absolutely delicious wow that looks so good look at that crispy golden goodness Ooh -hoo -hoo. man oh man I'm telling you this is the goodness right here Holy smokes. Would you look at that? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Healthy salad, some fried snook, and some tartar sauce. All right, guys. So I just want to show you the inside of my delicious snook fish stick. Oh, absolutely beautiful white meat would you look at that big flaky chunks snook has a really mild flavor oh it's unique totally unique and uh, i like to have my fried fish with tartar sauce let's give it a try it's been four years since i had snook guys oh my gosh i've been waiting for this for a very 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 long time it's gonna be good. Here we go. Mm. Oh my gosh. That's exactly how I remembered it. Wow. Wow. I'm just gonna break this apart a little bit more so you can see how how big and chunky that that is look at that oh man oh, oh. oh. I've had a lot of fish I've ate a lot of different kinds of fish snook is right there I'm gonna rate them I change my mind all the time it's been a long time since I had vermilion snapper I absolutely think Vermilion Snapper is my favorite. Um, triple Tail is really good. I'm going to put Snook before Triple Tail. I'm going to put Triple Tail next because it's very unique flavor. I would say Mangrove Snapper and Pompano. Um, oh, wait a minute. Grilled Black Drum. But there's just a lot of fish that I like. But Snook is right up there in the, in the top of the list, definitely. So, um, all right, guys. Well, listen. <laughs> All right, guys, well, listen, I, I'm already tempted to try and go out and catch another slot snook to uh, to cook. I mean, this is absolutely delicious. It is so good. And uh, we haven't been able to, to catch them and keep them for four years. Um, I don't want to go overboard. I might catch another one and keep it after think, tasting this. My mindset kind of going into this was I was only going to catch one and, uh, and then just kind of leave them all alone. But after tasting this... I might go get me another one. I'm just telling you the truth. It is so good. Oh man, I'm telling you what guys. This batter recipe right here is the absolute best on the planet. I mean, I've made crispy fish on this channel. I've used all different kinds of stuff. I think I made batter with Cheez-Its and stuff. But this recipe right here, this homemade mixture, definitely knocked it out of the park. And um, I'm celebrating with some Home of the Free because of the Brave Cup. I've got some green tea in here. I had a great time out there fishing with Chris from Fixing to Fail. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. He is so passionate about chasing fish and not just any fish. He loves to chase trophy fish, guys. So listen, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Click your notifications, set them to all. I upload videos all the time. I probably have 800 videos in my library by now. <laughs> So, thanks for hanging out with me. Everybody, get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Live it. See ya! Subscribe or I'll send this guy out to your next fishing adventure.